Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to XCOM 2 in our Commander playthrough. We're ready to go on the uh, Black Side Coordinates mission, so Operation Frozen Father, where we're gonna investigate the Advent Forge. And with us, we're gonna take Emma, Jazz, Ulrich, Yang, Finny, and Hugh. So here we go. So two specialists and two grenadiers. We don't often do that lately. But I think with uh, 14 enemies in this mission, it's gonna be uh, very important that we uh, can heal. As far as we can tell, this forge is some sort of alien production facility, most likely tied to that stuff we found at the Black Site. Advent and the alien forces won't be happy to see us, so expect heavy resistance. We have to do whatever it takes to find out what's going on in there. Recover any valuable information or items and extract all XCOM soldiers. So 14 enemies means we're gonna start off with 14 enemies. Might have some uh, reinforcements, might have some turrets. We also uh, don't count to the total number if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, you might have already noticed that we're uh, going through these missions faster and faster. That's partly because I uh, edit a lot out of course. but. It's mostly because of this great team. These guys are all amazing and I have the most of confidence in these guys that they will uh, complete their mission successfully. So uh, here we go, Operation Frozen Father. Apparently in the middle of the desert. It's been a while since we've had a bright mission like this one. This is Avenger. The facility is in range. Move to investigate. Okay. So for, for right now we're in concealment, but the dark event uh, with uh, Vigilance is active. So their uh, sight radius, the advanced sight radius will be a lot larger. Counting with that the uh, possibility of turrets, which I think I hear already. Okay. We're gonna be in for a treat, so give me a second. Oh, I put Vinny up top, and I think he spotted something already. There we go, a turret. Hopefully that turret didn't spot me. Because otherwise this is going to be a hell of a first turn. So yeah, their sight radius is pretty big. Um, if I put him right there, he shouldn't trigger anything, and he's behind cover then. So give me a second. Oh, Emma sees something too. There we go, there's something on the left, a mech and a shield bear. That's only two guys, there's probably a third one around there somewhere. So I'm just gonna move uh, further. So I think now if they keep moving in this direction they're gonna spot, yeah, they're gonna pop, spot Jazz. Kinda did that on purpose, we're not on Legend, so they're not gonna fire immediately. But yeah. Oh he, do oh, he does, he does fire immediately. That is... Okay. I thought that was just... Damn, I thought that only happened when you were on Legend difficulty. I've been very, very lucky then. Blammo! Goodbye. Something went down. Was that the, the shield bear went down? Okay. Oh, and that is a problem as well, of course. No biggie, we're gonna take care of that. So I should be very careful with flank... Yeah, putting my soldiers out in the open. Even in concealment, that is... Wow! That took a lot of him. Um, so let's move Jazz over here. Should still be in uh, Hugh's crosshairs. And then Hugh, can you uh, heal your buddy over there? Yeah, just heal, heal Jazz. I'm put Damn, that was unexpected. How much does that heal, by the way, right now? Ooh, eight. Let's just gonna keep it at that. Should be enough for now. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna use Vinny to take out the turret in one hit. Although that apparently doesn't kill it immediately. Maybe try a shot from... Um, yeah, maybe Ulrich. Ulrich first on the heavy turret to uh, remove the armor. That was only one damage. That's annoying. Because I don't think... Yeah, 
Yang doesn't really see the turret from here, so if I move it over I'm here, she now should be able to fire at Ooh, 91, that's pretty good. Yeah, that was a hit. There we go. Shredded some armor. And now we're going to use Vinny to take out... Hmm. Get the armor. Might even try to take out the... Um, the mech with the lightning hands as well. Although it won't kill it. Maybe try that on the third. To do it. Bye. And then we still have no, our sniper okay. shot left on the mech. We're not going to waste any of our other abilities on the mech right now. So there we go, taken care of. Goodbye. Okay, so give me a second to get my bearings here. We killed two... Ooh, free action. That is good, because I don't think he has an autoloader. No, hair trigger and superior scope. So I'm going to reload. And then put him behind the tree for now. Should have given him the raid suit, but yeah. That's a little too late, of course. Uh, now we're going to have to be careful. I could reconceal Jazz and just use him as a scout, but I think for now we're still pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to move okay, forward a bit and leave Emma on Overwatch. Scanning. And Jazz on Overwatch as well. And there's a lot going on. There's the sector pulled I've been uh, hearing. Jazz is going to fire through a wall. Yeah, didn't think that would hit either. You broke the wall over there, but how the hell... Oh, there's a window. Probably saw the sector pull through the window then. But this is a problem. That is holy shit. Is he alone? Is that the lone sector pull? Interesting. Because I can take that out. That's... Not actually that big of a problem. Because, um, yeah, these guys are flanked. That's not something that's too bad. I actually have a sniper shot at the sector pod as well. So we might just finish it off in this turn. So Ulrich, go behind this pillar here. Then Jazz behind this one. Yang behind... Hmm, do I want to put you behind something? Because your shots are probably pretty good. And you have Salvo. So yeah, let's try this. <clears throat> that is one shredding hit. Three armor gone. Let's try that again immediately. Yeah, it is, but that's not... Oh, come on. Is Salvo broken? I should be able to shoot with her again, but... It's not happening. Um, could use the EMP bomb here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Just try the EMP bomb here. So that should reduce the hack defense as well. So might even try. Ooh, I saw something over there. From Ulrich's perspective, I saw an uh, Andromedon and a Sectoid on the other side of the... Right over there. Yeah, there we go. An Andromedon and a Sectoid right in front of the facility. Interesting. So now its hack defense is down. So... If I can get Emma in range... On the move. Should be able to hack it. We still have a blaster launcher. And the... Uh, Plasma Blaster. So I think we have enough surefire abilities that we can kill it. So I do want to try a hack first. I know it's risky. Let's take it. But having a sector pulled on our side is just... Come on, you can't deny that. That's a, a huge advantage. I do love how it's even facing it. It's like it's talking to uh, the sector pull. 67 to shut down, 34 to control. Field hack will increase this target's aim and defense stats. Do I even attempt this? Would be cool. Let's try it. Let's touch just... Oh, no. No. Okay. Overdrive. And I lost my turn with Emma, so that is annoying. Can't get this one. Not, not that, that's... 
bad, but yeah, annoying. I'm gonna have to use the plasma blaster here. So fire in this general direction. Maybe even hit the car. There we go. Friendly. Oh, um, should put that to the right a bit. No. Oh, no. Okay, so I can't hit it without hitting Jazz. So I should get a better position. Maybe over here. There we go. How are your shots now? 83, okay. So let's go with the Plasma Blaster. And fire... Like this, kind of. I do destroy my own cover for some reason. Don't see any reason why he couldn't just fire above it, but... Yeah, here we go. Blammo! That doesn't shred armor for some reason. I thought it did. But there we go, and then we have a sniper shot that's still 100%, so... Uh, goodbye, Sectopult. Sweet dreams. Boom! So that means... Yeah, it went through every cover in the neighborhood so i'm gonna have to try and go through the building even maybe but we don't even have a door here so i'm just gonna have to go through the side of the building then but jazz go in concealment and i don't think this counts as a pole anymore no it's just a, a lantern so yeah and that's even our last last uh, turn there last action there's still a lot of mechanical units walking around. Okay. Um, should go with Jazz first. I'm gonna put him inside of the loot and pick that up on the way. There we go. Illyrium. Ooh, two Illyrium cores and a superior hair trigger. That is uh, very nice. And then... I'm gonna try and put him on the corner here. It sounds like there's another turret up there. And if there is, it's gonna spot me. Does it spot me? Whew, it doesn't. Okay. Um, that must be on the edge of its detection radius then. Oh, I can't even check anymore. Um, this all doesn't count as cover, so I'm just gonna put Ulrich over here. And move everybody up, and I'll see you guys in a second. So I'm just gonna take this opportunity to... Um, I put Vinny over here next to the door. And that should allow me to just open the door and shoot right through the gap here. If I just open it up, the turret is gonna spot me, of course. But now I have a line of sight to just fire at it. If I just use my pistol twice, I should be able to kill it. Yeah, hopefully that works. So, fire pistol once. That's a hit. Six damage. How much does it have left? Six more. So, I'm gonna have to guess that it dies with this. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to boost somebody up here as well. But, uh, there goes nothing. Goodbye. Another ten damage. Perfect. Like a scalpel, as they say. So there we go, turret taken care of. And now we're gonna keep moving further. So there we go, a few turns later we uh, are almost across the bridge and there's the facility. We're uh, pretty close to the Andromedon and the Sectoids, so there they are. And we're using Jazz to keep moving forward slowly, so for now nobody has sight on these guys. Um, Jazz didn't have sight when he was behind the truck here either. So I'm just gonna try and move everybody in that general direction. Before we do anything rash here. Although I might just set them off anyway, but... Because this game is unpredictable like that. There we go, nothing to worry about. And then Yang, I need to boost her up a bit. Just gonna keep her here for now. I am wondering if I can use Ulrich's proximity mine from here. Can I get it all the way up there? It doesn't look like I can. Which is too bad. 
But I might actually put one over there, although they're not moving. I'm just going to wait with that. Just put everybody on Overwatch. Jazz, why aren't you ducking behind your cover? Oh, there we go. Something's moving. And we missed. That's great. Enemy is still up. That might have not been my best move there. The dead Andromedon just moved through the building. What the hell is he doing? Yeah, okay. Somebody has a shot on one of the sectoids. If we can take out at least one of them, that would have been nice, but apparently not. Yes, miss indeed. Okay, so Jazz didn't lose his concealment, but everything else is really, really bad, of course. Um, this is a bit more annoying than I expected it to be. Because I do want to boost Ulrich up, but he can't reach the next barrier just... Just out of reach. Just out of reach. We could go to the outside here, but we can't even reach it from there. Um... Can't you use Jazz either, because he his Blade Storm would well make short work of those sectoids. But we don't know what else is prowling the area, and I think there's another sector pod walking around here. And there's a lot more enemies where those came from. So could you use saturation fire? It just reaches over there. And that kills both of the sectoids. Although, of course, I lose the advantage of being able to shred anything. So if I can take out those sectoids but for example Emma and Hugh that would be amazing so I'm gonna start by moving Hugh up um, put Hugh over here then Emma it could go over here it's a very dangerous position because I don't even know what happens if somebody destroys that even only 68 on the sectoids I should be able to kill them in one hit. But yeah. You can only try, right? Nine damage. Okay, that's really good. That's one sectoid down. Thank you, Emma. On Ooh, yeah, on reserves indeed. Why didn't I reload you ever? Because the combination of that Overwatch shot and then everything else kind of fucked that up. Um, Hugh. 76 on the sectoid. It's sad that Ulrich can't really reach the Andromedon from here. It's even sadder that Yang can't reach the Andromedon from here. Um, what happens if I put Yang here? Because I do want to reach... Can I lob an acid bomb? Just out of reach, but I think the blaster bomb should reach that area though. I'm just gonna move it because I don't need to select this thing. Don't need to select this thing. Can I actually place it so that everything... No. No, no, no. Because, um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that and open up the the building here as well. So let's do that. Because this thing has an amazing reach. That blaster bomb. And... Goodbye. That opened up the building. Hopefully not too many enemies that are gonna come flooding through now. Apparently I don't even see through that for some reason. Then... Yeah, Vinny could kill the sectoid, but I do want to do that with Hugh. So Hugh, 76 on the sectoid. Please kill it. Please kill it. Please kill it. Ah, that was a missed shot. That was stock damage. Okay. That's not that bad. Still have a few shots left. Not that many, mind you, but I still have a few shots left. Could go with the Shred Storm Cannon. How much health does this guy have left? 3, 6, 9, about 12. 12. 12 left. That is... I can't kill that with Saturation Fire or the Shred Storm Cannon. Which is kind of annoying, but I think I have a plan for that. So, Jazz, what are your shots? 62 and 69. That's not really good. I'm going to keep you as last. Because I want to see what you do against the... Uh, the Andromedon over there. Um, then we have... 
Ulrich. Let's move Ulrich up a bit. I know that loses his salvo ability. It's really, really sad that it does. But I don't really have another shot at this, so... I do also need to f be careful that I don't waste... Oh, no, I can't do that because I'm going to destroy Amos cover. And this way I just kill everybody. Um, so just firing then at the Andromedon because I can't do anything against the Sectoid right now. Oh god, please duck, guys. That was pretty good. That was actually pretty good. Now the question remains, do I focus on... I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. So next up, I'm gonna use Vinny. And put him in a really, really bad position because I don't really have another option here. I'm gonna put him uh, on top of the truck here. No problem, boss. This is such a bad idea. Then he has a nice shot at the Andromedon. I think he even has a bit of height advantage here. Then we have a lightning hands shot, which we can perfectly do without losing an action. Could use it on the Andromedon or the Sectoid. I think I'm gonna do it on the Andromedon. Because I wanna take that thing out. Oh, thank god that hit, because everything was banking on that hitting. It's gonna come back. And now, he's a mechanical unit. And I have something especially, especially prepared for mechanical units. His fanfire is gonna annihilate this thing. 24 to 33 damage. Here we go. Blammo, blammo, blammo. Goodbye. One miss out of the three, but the two other shots were 11 damage each. Not too shabby. So there goes the Andromedon. And now I have a Sactoid I need to deal with. I'm gonna just try and fire at it. And there we go, yes, yes, that worked out, great. La crème de la crème. Oh, he does lose his concealment, sadly. And we don't know, yeah, there's the next one. There's the next one. But we didn't really waste our abilities, that is good. We only used the blaster bomb. And, uh, well, we used fanfire, but we do get that back. Okay. Take it easy, buddies. Um, could you use Jazz to get around a bit? Do need to be careful that I don't trigger anything else. Because if we do trigger something else, right now we're going to be so screwed. Uh, Yang, do you get an acid bomb over the... Ooh. Yes, she does. This is for you. Yeah, this is for you indeed. Goodbye. Well, not goodbye completely, but... It's something at least. Wow, a critical again. Those criticals are so nice. And we now we can fire again. For some reason. Um I think I'm just going to put her closer since she's uh, so far back. Now we have either a flank shot or a normal shot on the lancer. Hmm. Don't really want to do that. I want to keep my pistol shots with Vinny for the Andromedon when it breaks down. So I'm going to put you behind the cactus here. Prickly protection. And then... Hmm. I could try with his lower damage to take care of the... Yeah, there we go, of the Lancer. Thank you very much, Hugh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're doing really, really good today. Um, then we have Emma. Move Emma further as well. And of course, she's starting to run out of ammo, but... 91. Her final shot of the mag, I think. There we go. 8 damage. And it, that should allow us to kill Good it off try. with the shotgun. That's actually overkill for a bit. We're just gonna use... Yeah, we're just gonna use Ulrich for this. Because the shotgun does way more damage than anything else, so ooh. Oh, he's still behind cover from this angle. That's too bad. Too bad indeed. Indeed, indeed. Um, just gonna use the shotgun then. That's actually a really bad shot as well. Huh. Six damage. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it. 
Oh, and that misses. That is no good. Okay, what I'm gonna do... Hmm... As I only have Ulrich and Vinny left now. Um, I have two pistol shots if I want to. But I do need to be careful. How often can I use saturation fire, actually? Because... It's a really cool ability. But how often can I do that? Can I actually check that out? No, I can't see the explanation of the uh, attacks here. And it doesn't say how often that resets. Maybe it's just ammo based. Well, only one way to find out. Let's just shred this bad boy. Goodbye! Oh, I love that ability. Come on, that is so awesome. And is he burning now? It looks like I set him on fire. Doesn't really show me there, but... Yeah. Oh, that's two... Oh, that's the sniper shot. How much is the pistol shot? 87. I'm gonna have to try it anyway. And I do need to hit both of those, because otherwise I'm gonna be fucked. Really, really fucked. Thank you. Goodbye. That was a critical. Don't know how much damage that was, but that was a lot of damage in one hit. And that's our turn again. We're really on the defense here. Holy shit. They keep going. Well, it's good that they're doing it this way, because just doing it like that is really good for us. And that's actually a really nice position for some... What the hell just exploded? Probably something over there. Um... Yang, I put you closer for a reason, of course, so that you could blast those fools. Do I just use... Yeah, I'm gonna do that after I bombed the place. Um, Yang. Don't really have a good position for... Oh, never mind. Take that back. Behind the cactus. Always found that a bit peculiar that that is a good position, but... Hiding behind the cactus is a good position. Um... Okay, so like this. Yeah, put it like this. A a right in there. Ready for a surprise indeed. Goodbye. So six damage on the Lancer, three on the mech, and its armor is completely shredded to bits. Um, I could sword swipe. I could do that. But I think it's a, a really bad idea. Um, Who else do we have? We have a sniper shot. On the mech, one hit kill. So there we go, that's just a no-brainer. We're actually in a pretty good position over here for some reason. Impressed yet? On top of the truck. Yeah, really, really weird, but that's the way this game works sometimes. Um, then we have Jazz. I could just run inside of the building, but there's way too much. Holy shit, this goes down. Wow. I don't think I ever saw that, how deep that building goes. That is cool. Um, Jazz, behind this tree stump. What are your shots? So you have 35 on the right and 25 on the left. That are really bad shots. Um, we could skull Jack, but I think that's just... Yeah, I can only do that to the Lancer and that will cause me to... Oh, never mind. No, that won't cause me to take an acid burn because Emma is immune to acid burn. We could do that, but it's a bit of a low chance. So, why don't we just reload you Back online. and maybe even find you a better position because you have an auto loader. Um, so, behind, go behind this, uh, the, this little corner over here and then try and fire. I know the shots will still be pretty bad. Uh, we can only try, right? Uh, 38 on the Lancer. 35 on the Officer. We need to do some damage to the Officer, though. Yeah, let's try the Officer. It's only 35, but hey. We've hit worse shots. But that's not that's not how it's gonna work. Yeah, I didn't get it. Yeah, yeah, I saw you didn't get it. Um, Jazz would take Acid Burn, so that's not a good idea. Could put you behind the rock, but that is going to give you the same shots that Emma had. 
Oh, well, you know what? Just, just do it already. There we go. Two shots. Ooh, that's actually a lot better. 55. Oh, his cover has been reduced by Emma Schultz. Let's try that again, then. That was a stock damage. A bit of stock damage. And that wall is... That wall is going down. Uh, then Jazz. His shot should be a lot better now as well. So 45. That is too bad. The reason why I keep firing and not try to uh, take out the Lancer is if I... I think the Lancer would go for uh, Jazz. And he's going to die if he tries that. Because Jazz has free melee attacks on anybody in range. So... If I'm able to kill that officer, all should be good in the world. 45, that's really, really bad. So maybe even... Huh. Do I use a proximity mine? That would be interesting. But just put one like this. If the Lancer moves, he's dead. If the officer tries to get out of his position over there... Because he's going to try and go for better cover. He's going to explode as well. And maybe even put that to the right. That just doesn't hit the officer probably. Or one more to the right. I want to try and get the Lancer to trigger the officer. That would be cool. But I don't think... Yeah, it might work. But we're going to try this. It's something new. I never really tried this outside of... Just using it while, while we're in concealment. But I wonder if they really are detecting that there's a proximity mine over there. So he's, well, understandably pissed. The Lancer took five damage from the acid burn. And... No, he's just gonna fire. Yeah. He marked Emma. I was almost convinced that he was going... To oh! Okay, never mind. Performing an action inside of cover. Oh, Why? You don't... You have no cover here. Okay, then never mind. And then Jazz is gonna do... No, no, no. What? Uh, Jazz, wake up, please. He was... God damn it. So Emma is down, but not out. She's bleeding out, so that means we can revive her or even pick her up. Oh god, that was that was a change in pace. What the hell just happened? Why didn't this blade storm activate? That was my backup. Well, I'm, I'm really happy I uh, I brought uh, well Hugh along. So stabilize stops the soldier from bleeding out. Can I actually revive? Um, healing or reviving them as needed. Yeah, just go for a stabilize for now. I don't know how this works, actually. I never had a soldier bleeding out. Does she come back? Unconscious. Okay. And what happens if I now use restoration? I'm really... Really curious about that. What happens? So he's healing Jazz, obviously. Does he resuscitate? Oh, yes. There we go. That was a revive, right? So he revived and, yeah, there we go. Healed Emma as well. Hello, Emma. Welcome back. That was interesting. Um, we're going to do this. We're going to do this the smart way. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's really pissed at you for some reason. Um, Jazz, why don't you take the owners and fire away at that Lancer you missed? Why? That was... That was so bad. That was... I, I don't even have words for that. I'm just gonna... just gonna do this. Goodbye. Oh, damn it. That was... That was a really bad turn of events. That We almost lost ammo. He almost lost Emma. Thank God we brought you along. Um, Yang, take that motherfucker out. Yeah, kind of overkill, but 
I don't, I don't, I really don't care. Only the best. At this point in the mission, I really don't care. Yeah, okay. Um, can't heal her further, so I'm just gonna keep her over watch. here for now. And, yeah, reload Ulrich. And put him on Overwatch. Because I think we're almost done. There should be one more batch of enemies, I think. Let's reload Jazz. I just put him on Overwatch. And be very careful about this. Um, Vinny behind the cactus. Our favorite cactus in the galaxy. And then Hugh. Can you uh, heal Emma again? Because... If she's like this, she's not going to survive another hit, so let's just heal her again. That should almost heal her up to full health. That is... Wow, we almost needed to use every single bit he has. I'm actually wondering if you can take two health kits along with uh, with a medic, with a specialist. Um, you don't have an autoloader either, so I'm just going to reload you as well. I'm just going to take this turn to uh, set everybody back up and then reload Vinny. And am I just on Overwatch? Ulrich? Yeah, you can just stay there. I don't want to do anything at the moment. Because I think the aliens have heard a lot of commotion outside, so they might come just come running by themselves. Ah, sure oh, God. There we go. These aren't civilians. They're Advent. Yes. And judging by the subject's condition, I would say it was recently manufactured. No wonder they just keep coming. There we go. So the Forge facility makes new Advent Troopers. And that there in the back is what we're after. But luckily we didn't spot any enemies. Because I don't know how I would react to that. Um, Jazz, let's use you first and let's slowly go inside of the building. I'm scared that there's still something over here. I know there's a second bridge over here and I think there's something patrolling over there as well. But... Um, if we can get close enough inside the building, we might clear that out first without any further, um, well, annoyance from everything outside. Already there. So boost everybody up over to the building, because we don't really have a good position in... Well, kind of because we blew up the entire building. Kind of take responsibility for that. But, uh, yeah. See you guys in a second. And there we go, there's an, Andro an Andromedon just walking through the through the walls, as they do. He does take 4 damage at the get-go, and then Hugh is gonna fire as well. Goodbye for more damage, of course, the armor is a bit of a problem. What? Wait, what? Oh, there we go. And the sectors are gonna go through the wall as well, probably. Do, do they care about those walls? Don't think like they do, because I... I send out two soldiers to the left of the building, so we have a nice flanking position in a second as well. Yep, just just activate everything, you're gonna die. Cause that's a sniper shot. Oh, that was a miss. But he's just going through all the walls. Look what the hell is he doing? It's still moving! Yeah, it's still moving indeed. And we're actually over there as well. There's two of my soldiers over there, because Ulrich and Emma. All right, over here. Look at that. That is lovely. Lovely, lovely. And those sectoids are just... What the hell is going on? The sectoids are just inside of the room over there? That's annoying because they're probably triggered as well. Um, so I might even try and hack them back. Do something really, really stupid back to them. Um, can't really skulljack anything. But Ulrich, of course, oh, look at that, we do have Saturation Fire again. I'm wondering if Proximity Mines work through walls as well. Because that would be really nice as a backup. Um, what do we have left as explosives? Doesn't look like we have all that much left. Uh, so I'm just going to use Saturation Fire. Will and turn. Huh. thought I would just be using our abilities to the to our best potential but what's what's our just if I just fire at oh I can't even see it from here okay okay 
I think I know what to do. So we can't see the Andromedon for some reason. Because it doesn't look like we should e actually see it. Uh, I'm going to put Emma over here. That should give her a flank shot on the Andromedon. 97% chance that should hit. And give her a bit of payback. There we go. And that's going to just revive. Hello, Andromedon. And now, let's see. Can Vinny still... Yeah, of course. Of course. Now he doesn't see it anymore. So nobody sees it anymore, except for Ulrich here. That is a problem. I can fire twice with Ulrich, of course, but... And I could go over here with Jazz. Um, there we go. Oh, he doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. Okay. Um, I don't want to waste shots with Ulrich, but I'm just going to have to. Goodbye. That's eight damage. Pretty good. Could have been a bit more. And I... For fuck's sake. Why does that end the turn? Can somebody in the comments please explain to me why that ends its turn? Ah. Uh. That's a problem. Because I could use Jazz, but I think I'm just going to use his... Uh, his beacon. Because, um, yeah, that's everything we can actually do. Because we can't even get closer, whole oh, damn it. Yeah, we're going to have to use the beacon. We're going to have to use the beacon. That's just plain right now. I'm just going to move these guys up a bit. Just to First see. Human bodies. Now we're finding Advent. Something tells me they didn't abduct these ones. Looks more like a production facility to me. The configuration is different. Is it possible? Could this be where the Advent forces are coming from? Nothing I think we already kind of suggested that. When dealing with the aliens. Yes, Tygen. So it would be cool that I could just fire at this wall to just open up a sideline to the the Andromedon. But sadly, we can't, so I'm gonna have to put Yang on Overwatch. Sadly. And then we have Vinny. Could put him on Overwatch as well. Can I force you through the. Hmm. Through the building here? That would. I wanna open up that door, but I don't have the actions necessary to, to actually open up the door. So. Yeah, put you over there. Then use the Mimic Beacon. Don't know what that's going to do. Because I do need to put the Mimic Beacon somewhere that both the Andromedon and the Sectoids can actually see it. But yeah, I don't really have a choice here. Because otherwise Emma's going to get attacked again. Um, then Hugh on Overwatch. I'm going to put Vinny a bit closer. Although his sniper shot might prove invaluable if one of the sectoids pops up. Yeah, okay, here we go. Mimic beacon. Mimic beacon. Draw the attention of the Andromedon. No, you're pointing the wrong... Yeah, okay. He's not even in sight of anybody right now. Punch. Seven damage. And the sectoids didn't bother, apparently. Interesting. Goodbye. Goodbye. There goes the Andromedon. Um, it kind of made a, a blockade. I can't really pass through the through the door now. Although Emma can actually, yeah, Emma doesn't care, right? She has the hazmat suit. There we go, immune. And then we open up the door. Don't see anything yet, so I'm gonna have to put a bit of uh, defensive strategies here. So put Ulrich back inside of the building. So there we go. We're gonna open up the door and see what happens. Uh, that does allow them to uh, take cover, but I don't really care at this point. We notice two sectoids in there. Package is in rage. Although we don't know what else is in there. What the hell? Why don't we? They should be around the corner here. Where are they? 
This is disconcerting. Uh, you. Get your ass in there. Okay. That should... Yeah, there they are. Oh. I don't... <laughs> okay. Um, I know what I'm gonna do with these guys. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna shoot one. And then I'm gonna get brutally... Slash the other one to pieces. I'm wondering if I put Yang over oh, here. Way. Do you have a shot? You don't have a shot. No biggie. Gonna have to take somebody else then. Um, Ulrich. Ulrich, you're having fun in this Ulrich. mission, aren't you? Yeah, I think you really are. So, uh, yeah, take a shot. Well, you can choose. The 94 or the 94. I'm gonna go for the 94 that's wide out in the open. Because I can slash the other one. Oh, I think uh, there's some of your innards against the wall over there. Yes, we are the best indeed. And then... Yes, jazz. Well, you have a sword, right? And a 100% hit chance. Yep, take him out. Just uh, from top to bottom. Yeah, bye. Ooh, that's that. Hmm. I kind of felt that. Um, do I go for the prototype I'm immediately? Going. Not really sure if Moving I should. Position. Just gonna put everybody in a better position now. Come get and then just yeah. uh, take Come the uh, prototype in the next turn. Okay, Jazz, you can move the furthest. So I'm gonna Your use trip. you to grab the prototype. And open oh, stasis tube. Like the one carefully. Preserve the specimen at all costs. And it looks like Tygen already knows a bit more about this specimen. So yes, indeed, it looks like the same suit that we were found in. The commander was Confirm found in. Acquisition of the package. Move to evac. And sadly, in this mission, we don't get our own evac. We need to move towards the evac that the game has put out for us. And it's right over there. Which isn't the best position, because we can't exit the building through the side. Well, we can over here, but that's a bit far away. And they're going to spawn on top of this area. So, um, putting people on Overwatch isn't really helping in this regard. So, I'm just going to boost everybody as far as I can. I am going to put a few of them on Overwatch, especially the ones that are closer. Uh, for example, Yang Absolutely. is going to be put on Overwatch. But everybody else... I really need to boost up. Um, there's a few areas where we can get up. So we can get up over here, over there, and then over here and over there. So we should have enough opportunities to get up somewhere. Uh, I don't think I can actually... Ooh, I could. But I don't want to get too far away from the objective. So Running. I just put Vinny over there. Emma. Emma. What am I going to do with Emma? I'm just going to put her over there. Okay. Then we have Ulrich. Let's pick a good spot for Ulrich. Um, yeah, behind this tree stump as well. Can't put anybody on Overwatch, but that's uh, that's kind of the point. Um, Ulrich. Uh, no, not Ulrich. You. You are a, in a bit of a pickle. Let me find a good position for you. So Yang is going to go on Overwatch, and that's all we can do for now. There we go. And there's the reinforcements. And it looks like a shield barrier, I think I saw. Yeah, a shield barrier, a trooper, and a mech. So three enemies. Which could, could become a problem. Hopefully Yang can shoot at least at either the... Ooh, and of course he's going on Overwatch. Oh, and you got automatic Overwatch. Yeah, something died. Something died. What the hell? Wow. It just killed the Tupi and the Shield Bear with one shot each. So yeah, I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. I um, just completed the mission, but I kind of forgot about something. Um, we completed the mission, we got over here, we evacuated, and then Bradford said that we failed the mission. Because I uh, kind of forgot to pick up the guy that's just lying here on the floor. 
Um, we need to pick this guy back up, so I'm just gonna put Jazz back over here um, and let him pick up the guy. Because the mission objective was really unclear, it told me to head to the evac zone. But of course I need to head to the evac zone with um, this guy. Because yeah, otherwise we just completely fail this mission. Uh, I can't move as fast now, of course, but I can... Um, although it looks like I can't actually go just as fast. I have shadow steps, so Jazz won't trigger any overwatch shots, so uh, we're still right here. We're gonna take out that mech. Uh, right now, somewhere, um, can get another shot at it, but I think I use Vinny, just use his uh, lightning hands. There we go. And then if I use Fanfire, he should, um, he's probably going to have one health left, because I tried this all already. Yeah, it's... Oh, no, it's not exactly the same. That's interesting. Probably because I moved Jazz first that the randomization that just changed a bit. So that's good. I'm just going to put everybody as close to the evac zone as possible now. Especially those that can actually enter it already. Move, move, move! And, uh... Yeah, just leave them over there. Ah, okay. So now they changed it around. So the last time they, they uh, spawned over here somewhere... And then we could just fire away from where we stood. But now, of course, I want to put uh, Jazz inside of the inside okay. of the evac zone. And uh, put everybody else on Overwatch. Um, do we even put Vinny on Overwatch? I think we should, yeah. And Jazz, we could actually evac Jazz already. Um... Let's go to Jazz and Evac. Oh, I pressed the one button. That was... Yeah. A whole lot of goofs. I pressed the end turn button. That's not really all that good now, isn't it? Is it? But it's actually a lot lighter than the ones before, so... Two troopers and an officer might actually kill one of them if I have the chance. A sniper shot at the officer. That was a miss. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Um, because that was indeed not good. I'm just gonna put my finger away from the end turn button because that's just terrible. Terrible! Why did I do that? I thought for some reason that that was the button to evac, but they're not on Overwatch. I'm just gonna book it out of here. So, uh, evac. Don't pre press the end turn button. Don't press that button. There we go. All objectives completed. Yes, and now we just need to extract everybody, including Ulrich. And there we go. That's how you complete that mission. Not just leave without the thing you came here for. There we go. We didn't get a promotion. I got a promotion from uh, Jazz when I completed it originally. Because they just annihilated every uh, every enemy that dropped from that last drop. But yeah, to be honest, that's the only time I uh, reloaded the save file. Um, so I have to apologize for that. But yeah, otherwise we would have had to do this uh, mission again. That wouldn't have been so good. Um, the only other time I reloaded the save was at the very beginning. Because I didn't want to have the first mission fail horribly. And I kind of failed at the first time I recorded this. So I technically didn't reload a save, I just tried again. So I recorded that first episode twice. But there we go, Black Side Coordinates mission completed. And we uh, got the test subject from the Advent Forge. And of course we got a lot of wounded. Emma is wounded and Jazz is also heavily wounded. There we go. Within the confines of the suit we recovered. We have found what could very well be the prototype for Advent's seemingly limitless forces. Even focusing my efforts solely on this research, it will take a significant dedication of time and resources to fully analyze this specimen. There we go. I don't know why the suit is red right now, because the suit was white when we picked it up. Two cores and a superior hair trigger, which is really good. Within the stasis suit recovered from the Advent Forge facility, we are detecting a humanoid organism of some kind. A new type of Advent soldier, an alien being heretofore unseen. 
Considering the level of security in place to protect this asset, it is surely important to the aliens, though it will take a thorough analysis to discover their ultimate intentions for it. Your findings at the Forge facility are disconcerting, Commander. If the aliens are somehow assembling or growing the Advent forces in mass, our efforts to defeat them will be that much harder. I will leave you and your team to pursue this further. Thank you, we reduced the Avatar progress by 2 again and we got 225 New supplies. Use the Shadow Chamber to study the stasis suit recovered from the Advent Forge facility. I'm okay. Tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing by for your orders. So first order of business, we need to upgrade the Shadow Chamber. So review upgrade. There we go, 200 supplies and 4 um, power. Why the hell... Don't we have enough power? Oh, we do not have enough power. Uh, no biggie. I think... What does the engineer here do? Training time reduced, that's good. And then this one... We don't really need the defense turrets anymore, so I'm gonna remove her. Um, and put her in one of the power relays. So, for example, the one over here. There we go, and that increases our power cap capacity to with 5 which is enough to uh, upgrade the shadow chamber. There we go. Review, upgrade and upgrade. What? What? I can do... I can try and do this. There we go. That is good. And there we go. Two more blocks removed from the Avatar project. I have no doubt your recovery of the unknown specimen and the destruction of this facility will prove to be a turning point, Commander. Excellent work. Thank you, Councilman. Um, with that done, I think we should just continue expanding our network here. Uh, so I'm gonna build another uh, radio relay here. We're gonna get our supplies in a minute as well, so uh, installing that wouldn't be so bad. Or are we building a relay for nothing? Kind of are. But that will allow us to go over there and uh, take down that alien facility. So yeah, why... Relays are nice, they improve our, our supplies that we get, so why not? There we go. New income, 67 supplies, which is really good. And then, we're gonna head towards, across the ocean, towards New Chile. And uh, make contact with that, because because of the radio relay, we now only need 40 intel. Make contact over Chile. there. And we're starting to get really low on intel. Uh, which isn't that big of a problem right now, but yeah. It's always handier if we have more. So Jazz has recovered from Thank his wounds. An urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. And there we have our monthly supplies. For the resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. Thank you. So one guerrilla op completed, one supply raid, one Avenger defense, two regions contacted, two radio relays installed, Avatar progress reduced by a whopping four. And Advent Forge, ooh, sorry, Advent Forge investigated. There we go. Next up, new construction isn't that bad. Advent al Alloy Padding, Alloy, Alloy is from Horizon Zero Dawn. But the uh, Alloy Padding, uh, also not that bad. But the next retaliation strike is imminent. So we're gonna investigate our supply drop. We're gonna continue, uh, new course. we're gonna leaving New Chile for now for our supplies. But we can see that the next retaliation strike is really really close by so uh gonna grab as much supplies as we can but our research project Just is completed like the one we found the commander in on the surface yes but in function ah commander excellent we can begin it is no secret that advent soldiers possess both human and alien genetic characteristics Preliminary analysis led me to believe that this was the result of direct modifications made to a pre-existing human host. Prisoners, or perhaps even unwitting volunteers. See your local Advent recruiter today. However, the reality is something else entirely. The Advent troopers at the facility we discovered, including the specimen before you, were manufactured. So not Each bred from humans. possesses a unique genetic code. Predominantly human, of course, but with some fragments left open. Left open for what? Whatever alien DNA Advent wishes to insert. Sectoid, mutine, 
Even the species our soldiers refer to as berserker. In all cases, human genetic material serves as a bonding agent, holding the strands together. Human material? You mean the stuff we found at the Black Side facility? Precisely. The key component in their soldier manufacturing process. So we've been fighting ourselves this entire time. In a way. Indeed. But I believe there's more to it than that. The human DNA in this specimen bears one key difference from the entirety of the sequences decoded in the shadow chamber. Psionic sensitivity. Given the sheer volume of strands involved, this cannot be accidental. The screening process at the clinics. Avatar. The potential power of a being created with this template is significant. Central. Had we not intercepted it before the process was completed... I know, Doctor. Continue your research. Let us know if you find anything else. I kind of don't really understand why that is a we problem, because we saw avatars already. Powerful being we recovered, Commander. I feel that we may be on the cusp of attaining a complete understanding of this avatar we have long sought. Having already suspected that the material being produced at the first Advent Black Site was tied directly to the aliens' operations at the Forge facility, it isn't entirely surprising to me that we've now discovered the apparent product of these efforts. Presented in some sort of stasis or containment suit similar in appearance to that in which we found the commander, the subject is vaguely humanoid in form. The physical similarities aren't as readily apparent beyond first impressions, as the specimen appears to be an, in an incomplete state which I initially theorized could be the result of an elaborate cloning operation. Unfortunately, having completed an extensive analysis of the subject's DNA and genetic structure, I believe clones would have been the lesser concern. What we have actually recovered is a foundation, the structure upon which a new life form could be built, assuming we hadn't disrupted this process. Knowing what we do about the aliens', aliens activities at the black site, it is my unfortunate conclusion that the human ca captives be they prisoners or abductees, were processed and consumed as part of the development of this specimen. Notably, the human genetic material involved in this process comes from the more psionically sensitive members of the human population. No doubt an intentional culling carefully executed by advanced forces. Regardless, one question remains. What is the missing component? What is intended to fill the genetic void that would have brought this creature to life? Thank you, Tygen. Uh, do I... can I finally... I don't know what to do about this. Let's go back to the bridge and continue getting our supplies here. And getting bombarded with a retaliation strike in a minute. That's one day. Everybody got out from the med bay. Psionic training is complete, so uh, let's give her another ability. Um, surrounded by an aura that immediately extinguishes or blocks any mental impairments. Let's go for stasis. Uh, let's get back to the bridge and training complete. Just carry on. I don't really need to check that up And what now? Just uh, more after progress then Command, Yeah, there we the go. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down We'll need to move fast. Not really, but let's just get our supplies back. There we go. Ignore all that New stuff available, ignore that as well. And let's get back to New Chile and make contact with that Setting area. For the Chilean control district. Because the research is still going, we're having the uh, gatekeeper autopsy. And I'm losing my voice. And there we have the retaliation strike we were waiting for. So few retaliation side. So in East Asia, Operation Witch Shriek. Um, 11 enemies, Berserkers, Lancer... Heavy Mac, Andromedon, Codex, Sectopod, Elite Trooper, and Shield Bay. That's a lot of mechanical units. Let's confirm that. And there we go. So next Retaliation Strike is available. I'm gonna set up the team uh, in a minute. But before that, I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Where we're gonna go on Operation Witch Shriek. Goodbye. Yeah,